I bet these facts will have you saying, whoa. Hey guys, welcome to Watch Mojo. I'm Rebecca, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you never knew about Keanu Reeves. I didn't know that your, your mum was from this country, so you are half English. I am. That means we're looking at facts or pieces of trivia that you may not know about actor Keanu Reeves. Okay, you probably do know it, but that's because you're a super fan. However, we will be excluding the fact that he is breathtaking because, well, you already knew that. All right, let's get to the list. Number 10, he had a recurring role on the series Swedish Dicks. Hey. <laughs> Reeves' television appearances have been few and far between. However, in 2016, he accepted a recurring role on a little-known TV show created by and starring his friend, Peter Stormata. The show revolves around a couple of LA-based private eyes who are constantly taking on comedic and or bizarre cases. Oh, and they also happen to be Swedish. Reeves plays Tex Johnson, the deceased best friend of the show's protagonist, who continues to visit him as an apparition. Careful, or you'll end up like me. IndieWire described Reeves' performance as, quote, the kind of anchoring force that the rest of the scenes without him are in search of. While hardly a glowing review of the show, Swedish Dicks is worth checking out, if only to see Keanu Reeves on the small screen. He was framed, Ingmar, and I need your help to prove it. You're the best. Number nine, he's written or contributed to two books. Let's see. Keanu Reeves is a man of many talents, and while acting is clearly his bread and butter, he has shown on numerous occasions that he's capable of demonstrating his artistic flair in a variety of different ways. For instance, in 2011, he collaborated with artist Alexandra Grant on a grown-up children's book titled Ode to Happiness. The book is comprised of a single poem written by Reeves and includes lines like, quote, I draw a hot sorrow bath in my despair room. I wash my hair with regret shampoo. Well, are we gonna, am I gonna read the whole thing? I think we can alternate. I mean, it's long. Grant created the drawings that accompany each line of the misanthropic yet slyly self-aware poem, of which only 4,000 copies were made. Reeves and Grant teamed up again a couple of years later to explore the meaning of shadows in their book, Shadows. Number eight, he passed on speed to cruise control to star in a play in Canada. Reeves' fame reached new heights with the release of Speed in 1994. Everybody sit tight, I'm getting off for a minute. However, instead of signing on for the sequel, Speed 2, Cruise Control, which would have netted him a cool $11 million, he opted to star in a Canadian stage production of Hamlet in Winnipeg. The decision wasn't exactly out of character for Reeves, who'd appeared in a production of Romeo and Juliet as a teen, as well as the 1993 Shakespeare film adaptation Much Ado About Nothing. However, in a 2019 interview with GQ, Reeves revealed that the decision put him in, quote, movie jail, as Fox refused to work with him for about 10 years as retaliation. The controversial move was probably for the best, as Speed 2 was decimated by critics and made about half as much as the original. Oh, so you met my nurses. Number seven, his parents had odd professions. My private life is a boring disaster, but, but work is good. Children are more often than not a product of their environment. And as one of Hollywood's preeminent outsiders, it's not exactly shocking to learn that Keanu Reeves' parents also veered towards society's outer rims. In the 60s, Reeves' mother, Patricia Taylor, made a living as a performer in Paris and Beirut. It was while she was living in the latter that she met Samuel Nolan Reeves Jr., a heroin addict and dealer. The two had Keanu in 1964, but Reeves Jr. would abandon the family a couple of years later. After that, Reeves and his mother lived in a number of places, before ultimately settling in Toronto. Along the way, Taylor found work as a costume designer, and one of her clients, rock star Alice Cooper, used to babysit Keanu. Number six, he builds motorcycles. Keanu Reeves' passion for motorcycles runs deep. When do you become a collector? When you have more than two or more than one? Or more than three. To hear him discuss his, quote, preferred mode of transportation in a 2017 interview with Esquire magazine is extremely revealing, as he calls motorcycle riding, quote, a physical sensation, one that reminds you, quote, you're moving on the surface of the planet. Reeves has been in his fair share of accidents over the years, enduring scars, broken ribs, and the rumored removal of his spleen. He did debunk the latter surgery in a Vanity Fair article, however. You know, when I don't ride a motorcycle, I go through withdrawal. It's not good for my health. In 2011, he co-founded Arch Motorcycle with bike builder Gard Hollinger, 
with three different models having been produced by the luxury custom manufacturer as of 2017. He ended up building a custom bike. He took the Harley engine and then built a motorcycle around it and that became the prototype for the Arch motorcycle. Reeves's passion for motorcycles became mainstream knowledge in 2018 thanks to a series of hilarious Squarespace commercials that aired during the Super Bowl. Number 5. He was in two bands, Dogstar and Becky. Excellent! In addition to acting and writing, Keanu Reeves is also a talented musician, having played bass for a couple of bands in the 90s and 2000s. The first and arguably more notable of the two was Dogstar. Reeves described their sound as trash folk and claims they were once booed off stage at a metal festival due to their differing sound. The crowd reportedly threw beer at them, and according to Reeves, quote, they were just like, F you, you suck. It wasn't all bad though, as the band managed to open for artists like Bon Jovi and David Bowie over the years. Dogstar disbanded in 2002, and Reeves would later briefly play bass for a band called Becky in the mid 2000s. Number 4. He donates much of his time and money to charities Though there are a lot of quotes out there that have been misattributed to Keanu Reeves, at least this one seems true considering what little we know about the extremely private actor. Money is the last thing I think about. I could live on what I have already made for the next few centuries. Wow. <laughs> Now I know what it feels like to be completely starstruck. In the 2000s, he set up a private foundation to help fund children's hospitals and cancer research. However, in a move that made it clear he wasn't looking for publicity, Reeves opted not to attach his name to it. Reeves has donated his time and money to a number of other organizations as well, including the Sick Kids Foundation, Stand Up to Cancer, and PETA. Also in the 2000s, the Matrix films were reportedly delayed so that Reeves could spend more time with his leukemia-stricken sister, who is fortunately now in remission. Looks like good guy Keanu ain't just a meme. You're cuter than I thought. Number 3. He suffered some major personal tragedies There's a sort of mythology that surrounds you, that you're sad. In the 90s and early 2000s, Reeves endured a few tragic events. In 1993, his good friend River Phoenix died of a drug overdose. Then, in December of 1999, Reeves' girlfriend, fellow actor Jennifer Simi, gave birth to a daughter. Sadly, the child was stillborn, devastating the young couple. And the heartbreak of losing their child ultimately led to Reeves and Simi breaking up. Despite the tragedy, the two remained close in the ensuing years. Less than two years later, however, Simi was driving to a party when she crashed into a row of parked cars and was killed instantly. The accident deeply affected Reeves. These events are often used as the basis for the idea that Keanu Reeves is a sad individual, embodied by the sad Keanu meme. Do I wish that I didn't get my picture taken and while I was eating a sandwich on the streets of New York? Yeah. However, with the Keanu sauce of the late 2010s though, it does seem like Reeves has been able to find some joy and happiness later in life. <gasps> what the hell is your problem? <laughs> I don't have a problem, Sasha. Number two, he has a diverse ancestral background. If Keanu Reeves were ever to sign up for Ancestry.com, we have a funny feeling his family lineage would be long and extremely complicated. What does that mean? That the Matrix cannot tell you who you are. Reeves was born in Beirut, Lebanon to an English mother and an American father. Simple enough, right? Well, not exactly. Reeves' father, Samuel Nolan Reeves Jr., is of Chinese, English, Irish, Portuguese, and native Hawaiian descent. And it's been said that Reeves was, quote, around Chinese art, furniture, and cuisine as a child. In fact, he continues to have a deep appreciation for Asian culture. Then take it. So to break it all down, Reeves is a Canadian-American, but only has Canadian citizenship. However, he could claim British citizenship as well thanks to his mother, but has yet to do so. Actually, my mother is from Essex. Are we sure? Yeah. Yeah. Whereabouts? I don't know. So one thing you probably do know about Keanu Reeves is that he's extremely private. And like, isn't that kind of part of his appeal? It makes us want to know more about him. It's a real catch-22. Anyway, we did our best to reveal as much as possible about the enigmatic actor because privacy is for normal people. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't worry. We try to be as respectful as possible. But before we get to our number one pick for thing you never knew about Keanu Reeves, let's check out some honorable mentions. I thought I was in for a lot of craziness. But then I met 13-year-old Graham Abbey and his 53 bears and discovered there's a serious side to collecting teddy bears.
I didn't. But is that a ghost or is that just some weird floating jacket? That's a reason to move thing. to me. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> My brother Jax likes to spend a lot of his free time in prison. Isn't that right, Jax? <sighs> Whenever I can get away. Tai Chi. That's different. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, the meaning of his first name. Keanu Reeves has one of the coolest names in Hollywood, in more ways than one. According to Jimmy Fallon, Keanu Reeves is a movie star name. I love saying your name, I gotta say that. It is a, <laughs> it's exciting for me to say your name, it's a movie star name. However, once you break down the true meaning of Reeves' first name, you'll understand just how cool it really is. You see, in Hawaiian, Keanu means cool breeze, with some translations often adding over the mountains. Depressed about your own name yet? Oddly enough, Reeves' agent didn't believe his name was right for the movie industry when he first came to Hollywood, and told the young actor that he should consider changing it. What brilliant name did Reeves come up with, you ask? Chuck freaking Spadina. Yeah, you heard that correctly. What's wrong with Chuck Spadina? Isn't that kind of the <laughs> direction you want? We think he made a wise decision sticking with his birth name. That sounds perfect. Find me a cooler name than Keanu Reeves. Seriously, I'll wait. All right, let us know what your favorite Keanu Reeves fact is in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and watch this other video because it will make sad Keanu happy.